Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the different cases we can run into regarding what the slope could be and there's a couple of special cases in there. Well first of all by now if you watch the previous several videos you're familiar with the fact that in order to find the slope you need to find the ratio of the change in y divided by the change in x. The change in y being the vertical change and the change in x being the horizontal change. And the vertical change, called the change in y, which can be found by subtracting the y values of two points on the line, with the second point being to the right of the first point, well, to find the change in, in y, the change in the vertical direction, we take the y value of the second point, subtract the y value of the first point. To find the change in the x direction, we take the x value of the second point, subtract from that the x value of the first point. So here you can see that if the line is sloped like this, the change in the y direction is positive and therefore we have a positive slope. If the line is like this, then you can see the change in the y direction is downward or in the negative direction, therefore we end up with a negative slope. Notice that the change in the horizontal direction is always positive because we always travel from the left to the right, from a smaller number to a bigger number, such that the denominator x2 minus x1 is always going to be positive. But then we have the case where the line is horizontal, which means as we travel from point 1 to point 2, from left to right in the horizontal direction, there's no change in the y direction. The change in y is zero. And since that is the numerator, that means the slope then becomes zero. And finally, what if the line is perpendicular? We still need two points, so let's say this is point 1, this is point 2, and the slope would be defined as the change in the x direction divided by the change in the y direction. There is a change in, oh, uh, sorry, take that back. It's going to be the change in the y direction divided by the change in the x direction. It's always the change in the y direction divided by the change in the x direction. And since there's no change in the x direction, the denominator becomes zero, and since you cannot divide by zero, that fraction, that ratio becomes undefined. Another way in which you can think about it is that by definition, when we go from point 1 to point 2, we're supposed to travel to the right. We're supposed to have a change in x. And if you can't have a change in x, you can't define the slope. So therefore, by that definition alone, the slope is also undefined because you cannot have a change in x if you have only a vertical line. But so we say the slope, therefore, is undefined. There may be a change in y, but there's no change in x. So it's undefined. And uh, we could use the, the infinity symbol, but infinity on its own is undefined as well. So either way, write it as infinity, write it as undefined. Either way, you're going to be correct. And that is how it's done.